I read a great book years ago. It was called Built to Sell by an American author by the name of John Warrillow. And his logic is quite simple, that you always start a business with an eventual sale in mind. So as you create your business, you're thinking about the ultimate goal, which could be 5, 10, 15, 30 years down the track. But eventually, you want to be able to sell your business so that you're getting some return for this amazing business that you've built. And in order to do this, you need to have great systems and processes. You need to have less reliance on you as the business owner. You need to make your staff um, accountable for their own actions, but give them the ability to make decisions and have their back. With our staff, um, my, I always say to them, if you make a decision and you run with it, and I review it and I disagree with it, that's fine. We can have a, a chat about why I don't agree with it, but I will never ever be mad at you for actually making a decision. I would rather you took made a decision and then we change something down the track than um, not make a decision at all. Because if you don't empower your staff to make decisions, everything comes back to you and you are the bottleneck in your business, which you don't want to be. You don't want to have your business reliant on you and you want to make sure that when you're ready, you can step sideways, you can sell that business, you can get the best possible return, but it also means that um, your handover time to the new owners will be reduced. It means the value that you get out of it will be higher. Whether you sell to an outside person, whether you pass it down to the kids, you wanna make sure that you always start your business with the end game in mind.